Tucked away in Milpitas on Windsor Street, right behind the Milpitas Library, we find a cool little shop named Dragon Bottom. The building is one that you've probably seen a few times if you've been around Milpitas, but what happens on the inside is almost magic. I just had to find out more about what exactly Dragon Auto does and how they do it. So let's dive in to the inner workings of Dragon Auto. Well, I'm Noah. I'm the owner of Dragon Auto. We specialize in ceramic coating and uh, like high-end exterior detailing. I started out having it as a side thing um, in 2017. And eventually over time, I put more and more money and effort and resources into it to try and scale it up. So I was doing mobile detailing for a little bit, um, decided to do full time in 2020. And I had immaculate timing because I had everything ready and I launched it one week before COVID came to the United States. So I did a couple cars and then uh, we went on quarantine. <laughs> um, and then since then, I have changed, you know, the business model to be from, you know, doing mobile jobs out of my apartment to now being in an actual location. I got a chance to take a look at his new location. It's awesome. I was able to get a tour and Noah showed me behind the scenes of how this stuff all really works. So with the amount of swirls on that vehicle, I'm gonna start off with like a mildly aggressive one and grab a couple for my test spots that we're gonna do. Get the pad on the polisher. Make sure it's lined up and centered. Because if it's not centered, then it's gonna spin unevenly. Spritz it with a little bit of water so it's not completely dry. Put some polish on there. And that is like the general, general use polish. There's different abrasiveness uh, levels with polish as well but we're doing a single stage polish on this car and that's our, our general go-to for most vehicles. And then uh, I just go ahead and uh, do my test spot. And then, so I'll wipe off that section that I just did and then get up close with the light and see how it looks. And that's actually already really good with the, uh, the less aggressive uh, pad here. So if you go look at an area that is more swirled, and then you come over here to this area. It is, I wanna say about a 70 to 80% improvement with uh, very little effort. Can you tell me a little bit about like why you chose this work? Like what, what drew you to cars? Growing up, my dad was actually a mechanic. So I was always around cars like my whole life for the most part. So there was already, I guess, more of that exposure from a young age, just uh, in, in, uh, having an interest in cars. What really drew me to it was the transformation aspect, right? So like I can do new cars like you know, all day long, like brand new Teslas, right? But it's not as satisfying as taking a car that is maybe is like 10 years old, right? And it's like a black car, it's kind of beat up and you get that really satisfying before and after transformation. And then the owners as well have, you know, that reaction where they're just like, oh my God, it looks new, you know, better than new, uh, better than the day I got it. And you know, there's that, that uh, reaction to it. I learned that there's a ton of prep work before you can apply ceramic coating to a car. That's half of what Noah does, is prep work. You have to wash it down, you have to decontaminate the paint, you have to buff out any scratches or swirls, then you have to polish it, do any paint correction that the car might need, and then you can start to think about applying a ceramic coating. So I'd take the coating bottle. Almost all coatings that uh, harden ceramic, tough, uh, Teflon, graphene, etc., they are gonna come in a bottle like this, and you do apply it to the, to the sponge. Once you're gonna get it, it's called priming it. So once you get enough of the coating on there, just go ahead and spread that out. And then you go over to the section you're gonna coat. So if I'm gonna coat the hood, then I would be applying it to the hood in a nice even pattern. And I make sure I spread it out. Because if I, if I prime it and there's all this coating right here, I need to either dab it out a little bit or I need to go back over it twice. Because the first area I touch down on is gonna have way too much. And then an area like over here is not going to have enough. So you want to go back over it in a cross hatch pattern, up and down, left and right. 
in that in that area. Once we determine, okay, it's grabby enough to start removing, it's been you know seven minutes, eight minutes, depends on the weather that day, then you can go ahead and start buffing it off and you'll use the first towel to remove it. So this first towel is gonna get saturated with coating and eventually it's going to start spreading the coating out in certain areas. So you wanna take a second towel there's various different kinds that we have, um, depending on the coating we're, we're doing, but you wanna take a second towel most of the time and come in and do a second wipe. And this one's supposed to be your dry wipe or your dry towel. It's not gonna be saturated with the coating, so you'll be inspecting it as you go, kind of like looking at it, looking to see if you can find any kind of residue. Um, usually, I'll just go ahead and wipe the area even as I'm inspecting, so it usually takes about two to three hours, depending on weather conditions, before the coating is dry enough and safe to drive home. And if it is like raining that day or something, uh, we do have an ad additional step. So we have uh, infrared heat lamps. So if it is raining that day, then we would plug the infrared heat lamp in and then give the, uh, the coating a little bit of extra drying and expedite that process. So that way it cures enough to be safe for water exposure. We hit the car for about an hour with the heat lamp when it's raining that day and it's good to go. It's fully dried at that point and safe for water exposure. What's like the most important part of your business? Like what's the most important aspect of your business? Making coatings more accessible for like the average person. So a little bit of industry context is that like um, if you are with a certain coating company, they will actually have you on a minimum advertised pricing agreement. So when I used to install for a major ceramic coating company, they had me on a contract where, you know, I had to uh, charge about $1,500 for a nine-year coating. And skilled labor is you know, all fine and fair and everything, but there was a certain point where I would work on a new car that required minimal effort, and I would still have to charge you 1,500 bucks. And I was kind of like, I don't really think that this is the most you know, worth it in terms, like, you know, I'm making bank, but I feel bad for my client because I'm like, dude, you're you know, paying you know, out the wazoo for something that is taking me you know, a minimal amount of effort. I don't really feel like this is a fair exchange here. So uh, having switched you know, over to a different product in the industry, I can make this service more accessible for more people because I think that the, the, the science behind it is, is just too beneficial for most people. You know, going from, I have to wash my car all the time, my car looks filthy and I'm too busy to take care of it to washing becomes like a thing of the past for the most part and it stays relatively clean and, and low effort, and low maintenance, right? among a bunch of other things too, right? Keeping the condition of the car, you know, in better shape. I think that should be something that's more accessible to more people. And I can't argue with the results. These cars look amazing after he's done with them. That glossy shine is something that I could never achieve at home. It was so shiny, I could literally see my reflection in the car clear as day. So I guess the only thing left to do was to bring my own car in. Thank you so much for watching the first video in this new installment of videos. We are looking forward to making more of these and pumping them out. Go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe, all the buttons there, all the buttons there. This video is brought to you by the Social Ground Foundation. We are a new nonprofit with the sole mission of boosting other nonprofits and small businesses who can't get their marketing and AV off the ground. That is why the Social Ground Foundation exists, is to be able to help those businesses with live events, posting the audio in the video with their marketing on social media or other things, photography, videography, PSAs, all of those things. That is the goal of the Social Ground Foundation is to be able to provide these things to struggling nonprofits and small businesses who need it the most. So go ahead, check out the description. You will find all the links there that you need to go support, to partner, or even recommend new businesses and nonprofits to make these videos about. Uh, this is a really cool partnership between the Milpitas Beat and the Social Ground Foundation to be able to bring positive change. So go check everything out in the description below. Thank you. See you in the next one. Fire. You're chilling when the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a bit of You whip up my appetite.